Since the last part, I did do a bit of a house renovation because I wanted to add an extra room upstairs as well as an ensuite upstairs because we needed a bathtub for the infants to bathe them in and also for when they age up to toddlers. I also thought while we were at it, we could extend the lounge room, make it a little bit more spacious and also extend the kitchen area a little bit. And how I funded this was actually through our family leave that we have from Yasmin being a florist, but also because we have begonia flowers growing on our lot. And begonia flowers are a rare plant. They sell for like 23 simoleons. So we're actually making a lot of money from them. Usually when I'm renovating a house bit by bit, the house kind of goes through its awkward teenager phase where it just looks all weird. But this actually looks pretty good and I've uploaded it to the gallery as well as the family including the grandparents if you'd like to download them but unfortunately I couldn't fit Sophia the dog in um because that would be nine sims in one household so you will have to get DD a new dog yeah this is the house from the exterior I think it looks quite nice and I think it's just gonna look better and better as we renovate and make the home bigger you may notice the lounge room is more spacious. We have a new couch here. This is the couch that we got in growing together. So I've been excited to use all of the new furniture. And then the kitchen is just a little bit bigger as well. I'm really excited for us to upgrade all of these appliances to the new ones as well when we can afford it. And then moving upstairs, there would usually be a wall here, but I'm keeping this open plan still just so we can use these play mats upstairs. It was kind of annoying going up and down the stairs all the time. And then this will be the new room for the infants when they age up to toddlers. Maybe this will also be one of their rooms, maybe when they're kids. And then this is the new ensuite bathroom with some nice decals on the wall from the bathroom kit that we got recently. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. The only thing I think we could do with is maybe a Murphy bed in this room and turn it into a guest room. As much as I love seeing Dee Dee using the sleeping bag. So let's put this in our inventory for now because I do have a feeling that may come in handy later on. And then this is the iconic Murphy bed that we got in Tiny Living. Let us delete this window. And then maybe we can go with the teddy bears. Oh, I love how the sleeping bag is all rolled up. You know, it would be nice to get a rug in here, but we should probably be careful with our money. The infants are pretty old now. There's only three days until they age up and I'm getting a little bit stressed because we have no gross motor skills because we have not had any time on our tummies. We need them to have tummy time in order to lift their heads so we can unlock other things that they can do like being fed, trying food for the first time. So we need to really work on that. Also Persephone does have the free air tinkler quirk which I'm wondering if this is making the hygiene go down more quickly which means they're requiring baths every day. And then Rose is a feeding tinkler because I don't think they're meant to be bathed every single day. It means they have no energy for tummy time. Oh, blue raspberry milestone unlocked. Very cute. Anyway, we do need a bath. Dolores, maybe you could give, wait, is Dolores having a bath herself? Oh my gosh, you're gonna go have a mud bath. I don't think so. Oh my gosh, Yasmin already has to go to work after a family leave. That is crazy. They only get like two days off from work. How cute is this little bathing interaction with the rubber ducky and the sponge? It's amazing that Dolores is actually doing something at the moment, although it's not at her own will. Also, this sponge is looking very abrasive. I'm not sure if that's okay on infant skin. Oh, water and soap straight in the eyes. That's great, Dee Dee. <laughs> Boop. It is very cute there. I love that little chair. I want a bath chair. Can I get one of these human size? Okay, we've really got to stop putting all of, all of these bubbles and soap in the eyes. Persephone will definitely need a feed. And then Rose. <gasps> Rose can have tummy time. Yes. Quickly, tummy time. Because we, we got to work on this, Rose. Also, I find if I pause the game, the Sims don't automatically queue up their own autonomous actions. Like he's already talking to Rose. You are so cute. You're a teddy bear on your teddy bear play mat. You can do it. And this is really cool, this animation, because you'll see the infant gets visibly frustrated. And then when they accomplish something, then they'll stop crying and then they'll be smiling again. And I just feel like that's so realistic. So I was really impressed by that. Oh, come on, you can do it. The frustration, trying so hard. And you're stinking your pants. Wee! <laughs> 
was pretty good. And I know I'm pushing it, but I feel like I'm going to push for the tummy time or else we are not going to get these milestones before they um, age up. Grab the milestone unlocked. Very good. I think the gross motor skills are probably the hardest to unlock. You can do it. Also, how's... Persephone going, oh, Persephone can have tummy time too. Oh no, why did you go to work? Oh no. Wait, why are we, are we still in the bathtub? I love how Sophia is so dedicated. She's sleeping next to Didi. I feel like that's not meant to go on for this long. Unless she's doing it again. Maybe she gave her a bath and she's like, it's just not clean enough. Can you give me tummy time? Maybe, let's see if we, oh no. Did you poop on Dolores? Good girl. I don't think we can get tummy time with another sim from the infant's perspective. Dancing is in my bones. You can like dancing. If, you know, if that's what you like, Kyle, go for it. I feel so bad, but I'm going to push the tummy time again. Actually, you know what? I don't think they will even do the tummy time if the infant's this upset. Oh no, they will. They will. All right. And Persephone's fallen asleep. I actually wonder if it's easier just to get them to sleep on these play mats so then you can flip over to tummy time. She's like, man, these kids stink. And rolling back again. Wee. Mm, I don't think they're really getting very far because they're not in a great mood potentially. Oh, Monty Taylor thinks Kyle Kyleson is swell and wants to become best friend friends with his father-in-law of course monty you don't have to ask that's really sweet that is really sweet you know what do you want to maybe change rose's diaper yes let's use this change table let's go for it yes and then because i have a bin here what where did that come from <laughs> It's stuff and toys in your onesie. And you don't even have murder skills yet. This bin here means that the diaper will go straight in the bin. No mess. Okay, I know you're very overtired. Let's um put Rose to sleep here. Rose also really has can you not? <laughs> Rose has trouble sleeping because they're wiggly. Um, so they do need a little a little bit of extra love to get to sleep. A little a little bit of extra soothing, I think. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry you're stinky, but it's better off that you sleep for a bit. Tummy time for Persephone. I love that little wake up animation. Also, Kyle's getting pretty tired now. But I'm sorry, the in-laws simply cannot do the tummy time. <gasps> oh, look who's out on the street. It's Kimberly Kyleson, Kyle's mom. What are they doing in the neighborhood? Are you telling me? They're, they're in the neighborhood and they're not even going to call into our house. She's maybe thinking I should give them space. <gasps> Lift head milestone unlocked. Yes, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud. You can use your diaper if you want. And then we do more tummy time. Kyle's like, yeah, yeah, we did it. We got a milestone. Also, do you think we need to lower the Murphy bed for the guests? We might do. Yasmin got 500 simoleons today. She's making that money. Let's see if we can put the bed down. Oh, great. That's good. No one, no one got killed. That's great. We'll assign the right to Monty and we'll assign the left to Didi and then they can sleep in here. That'll be a bit more comfortable. Okay, then I think soon Kyle. Oh, a new personality trait. Yes, I love this. Kyle has been feeling like a social bro lately. It would be nice to sit down and watch some sports with other bro sims. Embrace the change. I mean, I'm just here to go along with it. So sure, personality, he's a bro. All of that dancing made him, whoa, made him feel like a, a bro. Maybe you can get fed by Monty. And then yeah, you should probably sleep it off. Gives mama some time, Kyle some time. Hey, excuse me, that should be there. Oh wow, I never knew you could put these on the lower shelf. That's cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, you were in bad form. How did that go down so fast? Okay, calm down everyone. We can use our diaper. Monty, I'm gonna need to be fed. Aw, being fed by grandpa. That's lovely. That is very lovely. And then we will need to get a bath from Monty. Into the bath we go. This is very wholesome. Grandpa giving Persephone a bath. Persephone, actually, I know they're not fully energized, but I feel like the best way of us getting this tummy time in is to get in there before they're too hungry. Because otherwise their energy may be up, but their hunger's down. And then by the time they eat, it's just like a whole thing. Okay, we're having a little bit of tummy time. Also, if you hear a humming, that's actually my dog snoring. 
quietly. Sometimes it gets loud. Yay, roll over to back milestone unlocked. Doing so good. Persephone's a little further ahead. Why are you, why did you do that, Yasmin? No, why would you do that? And now you're grinding the, the staircase? Okay, this is bizarre. Do you think the tile, like the cool tiles help or something? What in the world? Is this like really weird way to let your kid emotionally develop? There you go. There you go. Oh man, the dog looks so sad. Oh, we've got a new sentiment as well. Persephone is fascinated by Dolores. Persephone can't seem to stop smiling and giggling around Dee Dee. What an amazing bond. Oh, well that's nice, isn't it? I've actually kind of stopped looking at the aspirations here. Oh, they want to read for a child for two hours, socialize with a child, so I don't think we can really do that until they're at least toddlers. It is great to see Dee Dee is using the Murphy bed. I love it, she's very comfortable here. There is a strange man in our house and he's thinking about Dee Dee. Dee Dee, is this your side interest? No, Didi would never do that to Monty. Oh, Persephone is doing really well. I feel bad because I feel like Persephone is just getting so much further ahead. And some of you guys said I liked Persephone more because of their name. But that's not true. It's just they're, they're managing their needs better. It's feeding time, everybody. It's feeding time. I'm here if you need me. You're doing great, kids. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh, look how disgusting this bathtub is. No. We can't keep washing the- Okay, we are washing the infants in this. I just don't understand why they constantly need baths every day. Is it because of the free air tinkler? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's winter. Oh no, that means the begonias will no longer grow. Quickly, quickly pick the last ones while we can. Okay, we'll just sell all of them. Sell them all. And then we can put them under shelter if we want to. But um, one, that costs money and space. And two, you gotta be careful with gardening because it's a bit of a money hack at times. All right, Persephone, I'm sorry that Rose is not getting the same attention, but Rose is just not getting their energy up. I really do think wiggly babies are harder. Okay, we're gonna work from home today. We're gonna do some more tummy time. Kyle's gonna do some tummy time. And then he's going to go to the toilet. And you're going to have a sleep. And everybody is doing their thing and I'm happy. Can you please feed your dog? Oh my lord. I wish we could get them to fill this up. <gasps> Roll over to Tommy. Unlocked. Check that out. I mean, this is exciting. Why are you crying? You should be so proud of yourself. You should be proud. Yeah, you're fierce. I reckon we could push out another sneaky tummy time right now. I say we go for it. Join tummy time. Wait, are you doing tummy time by yourself now? You're doing tummy time by yourself? No, I don't think they can. Oh, Kyle, what a man. What a legend, cleaning the bathtub. Also, can we just have a moment to appreciate the stretch marks? So cool, I love seeing that. That means so much to me. Lay on back, very good. I so badly want them to be able to sit up so they can try food. They've only got two days until aging up. It's so funny cause she's like still on the tummy time interaction whilst the infant is asleep. <laughs> she's like, come on, you can do it. And the infant's asleep and still doing tummy time. Oh my gosh. This is like the smartest infant ever. How's Rose going? I really want Rose to get their energy up. So they, they're so far behind in milestones. All right, they're in the green. Let's do it. Let's do tummy time. Rose, it is tummy time. You love waking up in the morning. Let's go for it. This is like infant boot camp right here. Deli's infant milestone boot camp. All right, you can do it. You can do it. Because we've got zero. We've got zero murder skills. For, for Rose. Oh, and then over here, Persephone, Persephone's got three. I think this is the sleeping animation. Now they can roll around. They will roll around whilst they're sleeping. Hey, Persephone, you're gonna have to wake up for some more tummy time. You gotta come to boot camp. Yes, toe in mouth milestone unlocked. Persephone, nice. We, I can feel it. We are so close to you getting into that high chair. Aw, Dolores helping out in her towel. Yes, creep milestone unlocked. That is exciting. Using her little arms, Persephone successfully held her weight on all fours. We didn't get to see it though. Can you do it again? I'll try to go night night. Okay, well maybe just go to sleep. Well, it must take a while to get to the next sit up milestone. You have to get to three milestones before they can sit up. And once we do that, 
we can go to the big high chair, you guys. Okay, I think they're about to go to sleep. I think they cried themselves to sleep. Did you? You did. You cried yourself to sleep. Good girl. That's actually so sad. Oh my gosh, look at them rolling around. Are they gonna like crawl in their sleep as well? Whee! Please go to sleep. Please just go to sleep. Oh, thank you. Gosh, Rose is a tricky one. I swear Wiggly is the worst. It, well, one of the worst traits and intense because Otherwise, Rose is great. They love wake up time. They're a picky eater, which sh shouldn't affect sleep. And then a feeding tinkler. So they pee while being fed. But that shouldn't affect their sleep either. So I think it is the wiggly trait. And they constantly need baths. Oh, well, we're all just going to go to sleep. And you know what? We haven't done like any work today. So we're not going to get paid. Oh, no payment due on student loans. Jeez, they don't give us a break, do they? Oh, well, we're friends with the repo lady, so good luck is all I'm saying. See, look at Persephone's energy already. They're already, they're basically ready for tummy time again. All they've got to do is use their diaper, get fed, and then we're ready to rumble. The cow's going to give them a quick feed, and then we're going to do a diaper change. It's feeling uncomfortable from that stinky diaper. They call this a diaper genie, don't they? I only know that from Sex in the City because I never knew what a diaper genie was and they say it on the show. Look at the wee going everywhere. Ew. Does that really happen? I mean, I guess it does. Persephone in a crazy good mood. I want Rose to, you know, do really well. I feel bad for Rose. And they're tired, they're hungry, they need a bath. Oh God, they're having the worst time. They're missing being held. Is anyone there? All right, we need to hold you more, I guess. She doesn't want to be fed because she's picky. Maybe she just needs a bit of a cuddle. It's okay, Rosie. It's okay. I guess she's picky with regular like breastfeed and bottle feed too. Oh, she's looking a little happier now. Well, it doesn't take them long before they are feeling happy again. What's happening? What's happening? Ooh. <gasps> did it happen? Rose just became good friends with Yasmin. Something happened over here. What did you do? Oh, oh. We're sitting up. We are sitting up. This is so cute. Oh, well done. Well done. That's very cool. That that's really cool. And Persephone's in an amazing mood. So, um, why don't we try a backpack carrier? If we go to put Persephone in back carrier, we haven't tried that yet. We haven't really had a chance to. Does that mean Persephone's unlocked everything? Oh, oh, they can learn to crawl now. Okay, I think we've graduated from the activity mat though. Let's see this back carrier. Oh, that is cool. That is very cool. Is it just me or has Kyle never looked so attractive? I wonder if we can pick a different back carrier. I think there is a way to do it, but maybe we can't do it right now. Can they fall asleep in the back carrier? I just cannot progress Rose. Rose is just... The needs. I'm struggling so much with Rose's needs. And I really do think they're a more difficult a more difficult infant. Maybe we can put Rose... Um, oh, Dee Dee, I wanted to sit there. Oh, the baby doesn't lie on anything anymore. Okay, can, we want to sit here and we're making it really clear by literally standing right in front of you. Okay, what happens if we rock on the rocking chair? Will this, will this help us get them to sleep? I mean, we are also about to die from hunger, which is a worry. <laughs> Apart from the diaper rash, which is really sad, and then being filthy, which is really sad, but they're so exhausted we can't give them a bath. Rose feels a bit abandoned. I'm trying, Rose. So we need to make a fuss. The 70s is just killing it over here. I love how our infant is just collapsed on the floor. We were meant to make an arrangement today. So let's just quickly do that before the next work day starts. And they age up in one day, you guys. That's so sad. Rose is going to have like no progress. Going to feel abandoned. Oh, it's so sad. I think it would be a good time to do just a little bit of crawling and then maybe some food. So how do we actually practice crawling? Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at her bopping. Bop, 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 bop. Is this a practice crawling or is this just bopping? All right, here we go. It's just uh, taking her a while to get over to Kyle <laughs> and then we've collapsed. Okay, you can do it. I'm so keen for this to happen. Like I'm so excited. You can do it, come on. Oh, oh, it's become too much. 
You're so close to being able to crawl. Don't give up, little one. Oh, that's a beautiful bouquet. $90? Nice. I'm actually not sure how much it cost us to make this, but $90 does sound good. Okay, you need to take care of yourself. Persephone needs to go upstairs to bed. Wait, did the grandparents leave? Oh, the grandparents left. They didn't even say goodbye. Oh my gosh, they didn't even take their suitcases? I thought they would have been like, well, bye kids. Thanks for ha- They didn't even say thanks for having us? That's kind of rude. Okay, now I'm kind of freaking out that we don't have the grandparents here because I'm like, how are we gonna handle this? Okay, feeding time. Oh, it's almost Persephone's birthday. Oh, oh no. Okay, I think we might have thrown up or burped a little just then, but that's okay. Oh, your energy's already going down again and you always need a bath. Uh, I don't know, Rose might be the troubled one. That really does suck because there's no way we're gonna get Rose to full mobility. Oh, poor Rose. All right, Rose, back to bed again because you're tired again. Oh, and we're in need. Well, actually, Kyle's really good at having fun, but I feel like, I guess because she's working, it's a little bit harder for Yasmin. Oh, no, bills are $1,000. Oh, that's okay. We can afford that. Now, I don't think, come to think of it, Oh, Dolores calling. Okay, they just left. Hey, Yasmin, I feel like trying something new and exciting, something like changing careers. What do you think? I actually don't think Dolores has a career. So maybe she means changing career from being a stay-at-home grandmother. I think you should follow your heart, okay? It's a big change. I'll have to think on it. Mm, yes, you will. I still can't believe they didn't say goodbye to us. Oh, Monty's calling for a chat. I mean... We never hear from the other grandparents. Dolores calling again. Believe it or not, I got the job. What is your job? Unemployed. Okay then. <laughs> I think she just likes the attention sometimes. Well, it's nice that Monty is calling to see how things are going. Uh-oh, gotta get off the phone because Persephone's hungry. Oh yes, yes, we can try in the high chair. Try first baby food. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got oatmeal cereal, sweet potato, homemade hummus. Pumpkin puree, hmm. Pretty sure some of these are more likely to be a favorite than others. Which, if I was an infant, which one would I like? Maybe just oatmeal cereal? And Persephone isn't a picky eater, I don't think. Ooh, that hunger is very low. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't want Persephone to be taken away. Okay, here we go. Here comes the airplane. Here it comes. Oh, what do you think? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yay, she likes oatmeal cereal. Ah, oh, first food unlocked. Is this really, oh, oh Lord. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh well, you know, you're learning, you're having fun. That's good. Oh yeah, all over the face. That's great. <laughs> Our infant's gone crazy. Oh, well that was very good. Quirk revealed, messy eater. Okay, so you're, you've, Oh, you could actually eat a little bit more. Do you want to try some more food? Help explore food. So they like oatmeal. What about papaya paste? I'm actually not a huge fan of papaya. Oh, I like the color of that there in the spoon. What do you think? Oh, yes. Persephone loves it. Yes, you do. Okay, the feeding might be my favorite interaction. This is worth working for. Oh, okay, looks like you got poop on your face. <laughs> you, have you got little hiccups? Oh, wow. Okay, that is so cute. Oh, we can practice standing. I mean, I don't think you can stand until you crawl. I don't know how you're meant to unlock all of these in like five infant days. Maybe this is only really gonna work on long lifespan. Oh, that's really good. You've had such a big sleep. Let's go ahead and give you some bottle feet. And how are you feeling, Rose? Happy and awake and wiggly. You got the wiggles. Well, we do have tummy time now. Well, Rose is still getting tummy time because just because Rose is a slower learner, it doesn't mean that Rose isn't getting the same attention. In fact, they need more attention. I swear, if this, this is your parents again, 
Wait, is our mom telling us to pay our student loans? That's crazy. Oh no. Oh my gosh, why is our mom telling us to pay our student loans? Now you've got a job, you think you're in charge of us? Oh yes, I put a rug up um, on Plopsy to sell and I thought Plopsy was broken, but it looks like they want to purchase this. 170 simoleons. Yay, Rose is able to lift her head. Oh, that's really good. Yay. Well done, Rose. Oh my gosh, are you crawling? Wait, crawl milestone unlocked? When did this happen? While we were focused on Rose, we started crawling down here. That is so cool, look at them go. Oh, we fell down, but we're up again. Yes. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Okay, you are in a little bit of a state though, so I feel like we need to put you to bed. <laughs> But that is so exciting. Oh, and you're putting your foot in your mouth, maybe? There's a little, uh, a little bit of a song for you. And maybe we can also soothe you, Rose, because we know Rose needs that little bit of extra help, I think. Yasmin has failed to pay their loans one too many times. The bank has sent a professional. Well, uh, the professional is our best friend, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Oh no, this isn't our best friend. This is Julia. Oh. Dear. What are you taking from us? I didn't even get a chance to say hello. Are they taking this? Seriously, what are they taking? If you take our letterbox, I'll be so upset. I don't think there was anything taken, was there? Yasmin's possessions have been repossessed. You guys, I didn't see anything that's been taken. Am I going crazy here? Can you guys see anything that's been taken? I don't see anything that's been taken. I think we got away with it again. Even though we're sad. We've had stuff taken, but you haven't. Well, check out this, you guys. Persephone, I think, may have unlocked everything. At least it kind of looks like it. Um, I mean, maybe life experiences, we haven't unlocked everything, obviously, but gross mode is looking pretty strong. And then we go over to Rose, and Rose has unlocked barely anything. But that's okay, slow learner, that's fine. But Rose might, you know, Rose might outshine Persephone at school. So they are actually aging up in one day. What I might do is finish this part right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can become a member for bonus behind the scenes videos. My last video I think was making the thumbnail for our last our last video. So yeah, if you'd like to do that, you can join beneath the video or on the channel page. Thanks so much to my members for supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. And thank you all for being here and watching. I love you guys. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Jack Jack.